We are checking out the Atlas 2.3 update. We can now attach the velocity in the sequencer to parameters within the drum pad. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to put in a snare and a roll. Let's give this different velocity. You can hear each of these notes has a different gain. The velocity is controlling the gain. And that's pretty normal, but let's open the advanced tab and go to this new modulation area. You'll see we have this new velocity mod, and this allows us to attach this velocity value to various parameters within the drum pad. So you'll see at the moment, it's attached to the gain by 100%, which is giving us the different volume for each hit. But I'm gonna turn this all the way down, and now we have all the same volume for each note. I'm gonna bring the filter up. Now the velocity is attached to the filter parameter. It's bringing it to the right or it's turning it up. And that of course is giving it a high pass filter. So each of these notes has a different high pass filter. Let's bring this into the negatives. Now we're going to the left and we're getting a low pass filter on each note. I'll bring the resonance down a bit. I'm just gonna expand this loop out here. We'll make it eight bars. Let's get rid of these. And we'll put in quite a long roll here. Let's open it up again. We'll give this some velocity. But I'm also going to give this some pitch. So I'm going to bring it up to plus 12 semitones. We can turn off snapping here, but if I turn this on, it's going to snap it to the correct semitone. So now we're going to get maximum plus 12 semitones when the velocity is at its highest value. And we should be able to get a nice cool roll at the end. Put in a few more notes here. Very good. Now let's talk about the shape. I'm going to use this hat here. Let's put in a whole bunch of notes like so. Now that sounds really computerized. It doesn't sound very human at all. I mean, we could give it a little bit of shuffle. That's one way of getting a bit of humanization. I'm just going to solo this. Let's open up the velocity. I'm going to give it some velocity like I normally would, so let's just give it a bit of a, a bit of a kind of variation here. Okay, but I'm going to bring the gain down as we did before. In fact, I'm going to turn on this fixed velocity button, which is the same as the fixed velocity in the playback tab, and I'm going to bring the shape down of the actual drum pad here. So, so now we have a really short, sharp sound but I'm going to bring the shape velocity mod amount up to 100%. And now that allows us to use the velocity to control how quick the sample is played. So let's do a few little variations here. Let's go into 30 second mode and make a few little interesting rolls here. I'm also going to bring the gain back, so we'll turn off fixed velocity. Let's just have this around 50%. So you can see this is a really creative way of getting a more human sound. And using this velocity, to attaching it to multiple parameters, we can really get quite expressive sounds out of each individual hit. Now, I haven't talked about the pan or the time delay. Let's just turn the pan up on the velocity mod for the hats. You can hear when the velocity is at its maximum, it's panning to the right. We can balance this out by bringing the actual pan parameter across to the left. So now the hats are kind of dancing around the spatial field. Finally, I want to talk about the time delay. So. I'm going to bring this loop back to just four beats for this, and I'm going to use this kind of bass sound. I'm going to put in just simple eighth notes. Now the problem with this is these sound computerized now because they're not being affected by the shuffle. The shuffle is only being applied to these notes here. So what can we do? Let's use the time delay. Now I'm going to bring the time delay up to say 100 milliseconds, and this means that now the higher the velocity, the longer it's going to take for the delay to actually play that note. So we can actually delay the start time of the note using velocity. So this is gonna sound a bit weird, but let's listen to all of these at max velocity. 
Okay, that's not ideal. I'm going to bring this down to its uh, very lowest value, like so. So it's in time, but now I'm going to bring up every second note. And you can hear that these are a little bit sloppy. They've got a little bit of, a bit of unorganized chaos to them. And we can make some of these quite long if we want. Let's make this one real long. Very good. Now just to finish with, I'm just going to show you an example of using this with pitched other sounds. So here's the loop that I made earlier. This sound is quite aggressive, but it's the one I'm going to be manipulating. So let's just solo that. I'm in my velocity mod. Let's bring the pitch down to negative 12 and let's change the velocity of some of these. Let's bring the filter down, all the way down. Let's bring the pan up, let's bring the pan to the left. Let's give the pan some random and we'll turn on mirroring as well. Let's bring the pitch down to negative 24 and bring the gain up. And one last little thing is we can now use Control Z to undo and Control Y to redo in the standalone version. And that's it. That's the Atlas 2.3 update. It seems like a minor addition, but it's a massive, massive boost to the amount of creativity you can get out of this machine.